your boy coming back with another video. Before we get into this content, I put a poll up. About 65% of the people said they were interested, so we're going to give it a shot. <clears throat> There'll be a link in the description to my throne account. What throne is, is it, it's a private chat, um, chat group, live chat, whatever. So, I'm going to be in there. Notifications on my phone. Yo, we can chop it up. You can ask questions. You can learn. And the goal of it, for me, is all of us to help each other with no negativity. Like, the haters ain't going to pay me to come in there. Which is cool. You know, and some of the, like, I'm probably going to take some of the proceeds and get new giveaways and stuff like that. You know, I'm, it, it's more for us all to learn together. I mean, I talked to another, uh, another hot shotter the other day, and dude, I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learn every day. You know what I mean? And that's where my content comes from is teaching y'all. So, like I said, in the description, there's going to be a link to a throne account. Click that link, sign up. As I said in the poll, it's five bucks a month. But when you get in there, in there with your boy and all our people. Yo, we're going to chop it up, live chats. I'm going to do, um, like, I'm going to start doing more of where I'm at, where I'm rolling. Because a lot of people like to, you know, meet me. I don't know why. But you all like to, you know, chop it up in person, chat, take pictures. Cool. So, I will put my location, like, I'm going to Montana this week. So, you know, on the way, I can say, next stop, boom, boom, boom. And if y'all in the area, you want to chop it up and holler. So, that's what we're going to do with that. If y'all interested, great. If you're not interested, that's great too. I understand. Five dollars is five dollars. So, link's in the description. You want it, get it. If you want it later, it'll still be there. But right now, get on into this content. What up, what up, all my little hot shot hustlers? Look, it's too noisy, I'm sorry. I got a new cat mount for you, so it's not noisy. The fan's off, I cut my hair, shaved my beard. Like, I, I don't know what more y'all want to be. So, let's talk about something that aggravates the bejesus out of me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Check. One, two. Alright, so now that we've got all of that situated and out of the way. So, oh, by the way, hold on. Oh. If y'all wear a mask, you gotta get you one of those. HSD, baby. Ah, haters gonna hate. Um so, you know, for some reason, these not, like, guys that are not CDL, like, you, I call them hardcore. Hardcore to the bone, non CDL guys. Like, if you're non CDL, that's cool. I was non CDL. I'm CDL, but I was non CDL, right? But I never tried to talk anybody out of being CDL. Of furthering their business of furthering what they want to do in life there's people on here that are giving the most asinine information pardon my French I seen earlier somebody said just because you have a CDL and you can haul more weight don't mean you can make more money excuse me did you hear the words that just came out of your mouth? Just cause you can haul more weight don't mean you can make more money. Uh, newsflash, yes you can, yes you do. If you can put five partials instead of two, that's more money. Hey, there we go. You see them guys over there? Boom. They're making more money. 
that big rig is probably making more than a non-CDL hotshot. That five car, I would hope, is making more than a non-CDL two or three car wedge. This truck puts my non-CDL numbers to shame. To shame, I tell you. My numbers have doubled. Doubled. Like, I'm going to Montana. 7 Gs. You know why? Because I have a CDL and I can haul five cars. Just saying. You know, I haven't made... I haven't had a week under six grand, 65, 62, since I've gotten this rig. You know why? Because I can put cars wherever I want now. Because I can haul more weight. So, guys, if you don't want to be non-CDL, that's fine. Like, I mean... If you want to be non-CDL, that's fine. Whatever your reasoning may be, it's cool. But don't put no BS reason out there. Be honest with yourself. And this isn't for anybody in particular, but I like to smoke weed, so I'm not going to get a CDL. Cool. I'm with you. I used a lot, too. But, you know, I got my priorities, you know? And I don't do nothing anymore. But that's besides the point. I like to get drunk. Used to. Not no more. You know. I used to like to drive like a fool at 100 mile an hour in my little sports car. I no more. Some people are so addicted to like the adrenaline of street racing. But you can't get a CDL if you're a street racer. Because if you get caught you lose everything. You know what I mean? Because it's ten times worse. If you want to smoke weed, you can't get a CDL because you got piss test. It's cool. You may have, you know, something over you. It, either way, it does not matter your reason. That's your reason. That's your stuff. That's your prerogative. Ain't nobody talking smack on you. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody saying, oh, you're less than because you're not CDL. Because I agree with a lot of the non-CDL guys when they are uh, when they're confronted with, "I'll get your credentials. I'll be a real driver." You know what they say? Have you seen these CDL guys lately? And they're one hundred percent correct. Have you seen these CDL guys lately? Trash. Like they're just handing out the license. So I agree. CDL doesn't make you a better driver. For some reason, the insurance thinks so, but it really doesn't. So, the only reason to get a CDL is to better your life. I tell you what, my quality of life has quadrupled. In a 72 inch sleeper, I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. Not breathe, breathe. Breathe up. You know what I mean? So, guys, if you want to be non-CDL, I'm with you. I'm cool. I enjoyed my non-CDL run. Until I seen the money. So, don't... Like, and that's cool. You can just keep it to yourself. Like, and some of these guys that talk smack on the CDL truck, and why they're not a CDL... Could have failed in trucking. I mean, just because you had trucks don't know don't mean you know how to run them. And just because you have a CDL don't mean you're a good driver. I took this truck for a PM, preventive maintenance. They greased everything, checked all my fluids. Changed my oil, oil filter, fuel filters, water filter, water separator, everything. They did more than I could ever do under that truck in the half hour they had it for 350 bucks. Now I use Delvac between 17 and 20 dollars a gallon. I use 12 gallons. You do the math. That's 
240. I still gotta buy $50 worth of filters. That's 290. That's just my old filters because I got two. Then I need my fuel filters, which is another third. That's 320. So for $30, I didn't get my hands dirty. Now, is that a lot for a big truck? I don't think so. I don't think that's a lot of labor. Hold on, I'll be right back. So, it, it's really not all that expensive. Like, I had a couple minor issues last week, or last month with my truck. It cost me $50 to repair my truck last month. I had a coolant leak, I had a relay going bad, then I had a, a, a body mount bushing come out. It cost me 50 bucks. And I can do it all myself in a matter of no time. So, if you want to look at the initial spending money, yes, semis are more expensive. Yes, I paid $2,300 for eight tires. Eight tires. But I don't need them for a year and a half, two years. You, you're going to spend, what, $1,200? On your whole truck and you need them twice a year you know so who's really ahead and who's behind here you know but it's um like it just really it should not matter to people who does what like i don't understand the point of downing somebody for what they do like, and everybody's like, oh, you're not Hot Shot Dave anymore. Let me tell you something, Hulf. Hot Shot Dave is trademarked, and no one can use it. So, I'm Hot Shot Dave for life, bruh. You know why? Because I can be. You know, it's... Hot Shot Dave is not just a Hot Shot driver at this point. It's a, uh... Somebody people like to hate on. I love it a long time. So guys, when you're listening to, to these videos, and I'm going to be honest with you, half of them, they're the right three quarters, I can't even listen to. Like, I just, because I've been in it so long, and, and I've done it so long, that I can just, I smell the, the bullshit spewing out of their mouth. You know, and it's, it's okay because here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. Us as YouTubers and hotshot truckers, most of the time, myself included, like when we're doing something, it's not, and we say it, it's not from experience. It's learning. Like, that's why I look like such a hypocrite. Because I try everything and I learn by messing it up. I bought a brand new truck. Then I bought it and said, don't buy one. Ah, you're a hypocrite. You said never buy a new truck. You bought one and you're still saying don't buy it. Yeah, it's kind of a learning experience, bud. You know, and I'd rather be a hypocrite than feed y'all a line of BS. Telling you, oh, buy this truck. It's the best. Well, why is that, Hotshot? Because I drive it. No. What I'm doing is not always the best case scenario. Now, what I'm driving now best case scenario. Unless you got big money for a new truck. Not a new new truck. But then again I wouldn't buy after 07. It just wouldn't happen. You know? People that know me know I'm anti-deaf. I'm anti-regulations. I'm anti-DEF. DPF. All, all that nonsense. You know what I mean? So I, I wouldn't tell you to buy none of that. Uh you know, and uh, I'm, uh, I haven't even really showed my numbers. Like, I get a lot of people asking, so I'm probably going to show the numbers from last month and, you know, what I did with this truck and, you know, in a rolling month. Um, but I just, I don't like to do that because everyone else does that. And when I watch their videos, I see zero value. Like, what value do you get out of you, me telling you how much money I made? Like, how, how do you get value out of that? 
If anything, it could ruin your morale. Because I've been at it five years. You've been at it maybe three months. So you're not gonna run my numbers. You don't have my connections. You, you don't have the lanes down yet. You don't have it boom, 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 boom. So when I come on here rubbing in $6,000 in a week, seven in a week, even 43 in a week, five in a week, and you're making two, you know, like, what does that do for anyone? Pump the chest. No. Now, I, I understand why people want to see my numbers right now, because they want to really see the difference between a big truck and a hot shot, you know, because I did a video showing my hot shot numbers, what's realistic and blah, blah, blah. But I don't do them all the time. I'm not one of these videos that every week I'm telling you how much money because I have nothing else to talk about. But so I may do a video of that coming up. But that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little spiel. Uh, if you did, y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.